Hello, Martin. It's been ages I've seen you. Ages. When the last time uh, we seen each other? When was a couple of years ago? No, a couple, a few years ago. I'll be not. Yeah, it's been like, I guess it's been six, seven years. Long time. Six, long seven time. years. Wow. That's been a long time. For those who doesn't know, that uh, Martin and I, we used to work in LA Fitness together. Uh, why I chose to speak to Martin, because he is fantastic in what he does. Yes, yeah, so as you said, we met in, uh, in central London. It was in, I guess it was in LA Fitness. We were freelance, six personal trainers. And a few years afterwards, I focused more on strength condition coaching, uh, of the athletes and then I started to do more body transformation specialized programs which were between three and six months. So I was uh, focusing very much for changing people's uh, physique, very focused on, uh, on dieting as well, also living on psychology. And from there I moved more to the psychology and I started to do life coaching as well, online life coaching. Uh, I moved a little bit uh, for a short period of time to US and then I moved to Asia, which was brilliant. I've been training, I've been studying, uh, I've been practicing uh, uh, what I was preaching and I was learning new techniques, I was learning, I was getting more uh, information uh, from psychology and from uh, the specialized trainings and now I, uh, I do wellness coaching and health coaching uh, which includes body, mind, soul and spirit. So I feel that not only body is important to look after, but also for our minds, also for our soul and spirit. Yeah, perfect. Because, you know, if you are not in your right mind, the training, everything can go wrong. Doesn't matter how much uh, supplements uh, do you take. I remember the way you was training. The way you train, it's, it's like insane. And I remember when I asked you to train me, um, just to see the way how you training, I nearly died, but I survived. <laughs> so, but you also said that no, pretty you, good, pretty good. <laughs> the way you train, you not mess about. So you're very focused. You don't BS your clients. How is your training now? What do you do now to keep lean? I can see you've got bicep. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. At the moment, I'm so lucky. I do more outdoors activities. So I do a lot of hiking, a lot of sprints because it's beautiful mountains here. Yeah. Normally, I do kayaking, I do paddleboarding, canyoning, uh, water rafting. I, I have a small gym at home, um, and also I created kind of like a outdoor strongman gym. So I got the barrel, I got um, Atlas, and I got stones up to 180 kilos. I got big wow. time. 600 kilos so i like to mix it up and as as you mentioned you know and when, when we were training uh it's training always been for me kind of like a uh active meditation so once i did it i was fully focused on do you have specific diet like low carb diet or uh full fat diet to keep lean of course like been athletes since uh childhood in my 20s uh i used to eat uh, more carbs uh, more protein because I wanted to be very big. Uh, I did strongman competitively as well and the other sports as well. And do you believe that eating more protein uh, make you bigger? It's all individual, so everybody's individual. Everybody has individual goals, right? Someone wants to lose weight, someone wants to get bigger muscle, someone wanted to be more functional. So I adjusted training and program for them. I usually recommend clients and myself as well. You know, I, I reduce carbs and uh, I have a good amount of proteins and especially I have a lot of good fats, uh, monosaturated fats like um, nuts, avocado, um, fish oil, coconut oil, um, mm -hmm. olive oil. Uh, so fats are very important, also for functioning of our brains and for recovering our cells in the body. Um, and good quality protein, mostly eggs, uh, good quality meat, uh, beef, uh, fish, chicken, uh, mostly from farms. And um, uh, carbs, usually it's uh, black rice, it's quinoa, uh, sweet potato. So this type of carbs. Do you uh, weigh your food or you kind of see what do you need? 
Uh, that's, it's a good question. Yeah, I, I, I eat what I see. So I don't measure it exactly like it's in the magazines and I never ever done it with my clients. I give them general information what to eat and then they report me what they eat and if I, eat, if I see that they didn't eat something correctly so then I correct them yeah. and that's how they remember the best. For myself, I do it mostly instinctively because I've been doing it for decades. Uh, so yeah. I've been since childhood and um, a competitive athlete till my 25. For people who want to see your channel, I will add the link in the description below. You have a, such a good body definition. Have you ever thought to enter bodybuilding competition? I don't know exactly. I now I think for myself because uh, it's, it's my lifestyle, it's, it's, it's part of my life, training. And uh, as I mentioned, it's active meditation, so it helps me mentally as well. Um, maybe when I was younger, but at the moment, probably. Younger? How old are you now? I'm 39. 39. So it's never too old. <laughs> it's never too old to enter. I'm about to enter the competition on 26th of September, and I'm 36. So I think my target is going to be to enter maybe 10 competition by the time I'm 60. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's there you go. Uh, target. You're probably motivating, probably you're persuading. Yeah. <laughs> what qualifications do you have? Uh, I have National Academy Sport Medicine, which is the American uh, uh, personal training level three. I got UKSA, which is a uh, strong athlete. And I had workshops, uh, King, uh and he was still alive, level one, level two, workshops. Uh, for instance, Santana, Paul Czech. You used to uh, uh, train what are called strongman and ironman. Do you mm. still do that? Yes, yes, I still do strongman. I do all kind of. Uh, I belong to training as an athlete, the universal athlete, to do all strength qualities, right? So I do strength, um, I do endurance strength, I do cardio, I, I do strongman, I do body weight movement uh, exercise, I do gymnastics, I do calisthenics. What's the quickest way, very the quickest as possible, to gain upper body? A skinny client approaching to you and say, Martin, I want big shoulders like you. Can I achieve that in three months? Uh, so maybe not as big as uh, someone who's been doing it for years, but definitely they can get bigger. Definitely they can uh, see differences. How much difference they can see in three months? Uh, it's individual. It's individual, but they can they can get pretty pretty good, you know. And also then they do lose uh, weight from from little part from the stomach, uh, so visually they will look bigger. Um, but it's it's just pretty simple to, to gain weight. Uh, uh, compound movement exercises, body based exercises, uh, like pull ups, uh, push press, uh, shoulders exercises. But I would I would mix it strength training with uh, with bodybuilding training. I coach mostly athletes, mostly athletes, and then uh, uh, business professionals or business owners. Uh, that that's my main clientele. I used to be mainly in London. Is there any specific sport? Uh, rugby, MMA. It was more strength conditioning. Coaching. Yes, I know you are very tall, wide shoulder, and you have a very good genetic. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you can eat anything and never put on weight. Because I can, I saw uh, when you were on a diet and when you just sometimes let it go. So you put on weight very quickly. So you think you're not genetically lean. Well, my genetic, uh, actually I was more ectomorph. Uh, so I could stay pretty lean, but uh, I had problems to gain muscle. I used to be a very skinny guy. Uh, in my teenage times, I used to do triathlon and I used to be a swimmer. And I used to be very skinny, very, very skinny, because I was running a lot, I was swimming a lot. And um, when I was 17, I guess, I started to do weights and then I came size my shoulders. So I might appear like it. my genetic is good because I got kind of wide frame with my shoulders and I'm tall guy, but I, I used to be very skinny, so it was hard training. You're very strong in the upper body. Uh, mm. so your lower body is not as strong, but you always kept it proportional. When you say guys concentrating uh, too much on upper body, but they have chicken legs. <laughs> but you're right, guys I see in the gym, they're concentrating too much on the upper body, but they never do anything lower body. And it does look unproportional, 
What do you suggest for people who have a good genetics for upper body, they cannot build muscle mass on their legs or basically lower body? Uh, what would you suggest to them? What exercise would you suggest for them to do to build the legs so it looks proportional? It's a good question again. It was my weakness as well. It was difficult for me to gain size on my legs. Uh, and I was doing a lot of compound movement exercises like squats, deadlifts, lunges. Uh. What is a compound movement? Compound movement is multi-joint uh, movement exercises, squats, pull-ups, press-ups, right into the training. Uh, so for some guys who are more built like other lifters or strong men, it's thicker waist and and thick legs for them is enough to do less reps and more strength training, focus more on strength training. Uh, in my case, because I'm tall and have long legs, I, this didn't work for me, so I used to do a lot of supersets of three sets and more repetitions. So activating more muscle fibers in long muscle like legs are, uh, so it was sometimes between 15 and 50 reps for squats. Yeah, maximum, but still with decent weights which was requiring a lot of cardio as well, and of course strength, very effective for gaining size on, on legs, and strength was power training. So it was a lot of like uh, judo bell sprints, um, uh, sprints uphill, uh, piggybacks, plyometrics. Plyometrics are fantastic. Uh, for instance, uh, frog jumps or box jumps, um, burpees with extra weight. Uh, so this type of exercise which activates muscle fibers in non muscle and that's what usually works for taller guys with long legs. Why you used one exercise, clean and press, for one hour? Periodization is very important. So when it was strength training, uh, it was longer rest between sets and then added weight. It was working for stimulating uh, muscle and especially stimulating testosterone. Uh, hormonally and then if we have higher testosterone then we grow and we burn body fat. Have mm. you ever been on TRT? Uh, have you ever took SARMs uh, like to gain muscle mass quicker? Have you ever took anything uh, supplement that kind of not mm. natural but then saying that you are natural? You know like a lot of bodybuilders they will mm. say I'm a natural and you clearly see that that person is not natural mm. and we saw in the gym quite few people like this and you know yourself so mm. have you ever took anything i i tried testosterone boosters of course when i was like uh, in my 20s i was trying anything except of steroids because i wanted to be clean and natural and i wanted to see my limits how far i can get through the natural training okay. like tribulus terrestes and this all legal stuff and then creatine monohydrate was working for me pretty well. I was gaining size from creatine monohydrate. Uh, but somehow body got used to it after all the years. And um, then I once, once I tried steroids, which was testosterone and the cannabis, uh, which is one of the mildest ones. Still has to be good nutrition. What steroids do, speed up the recovery. You can do really hard training and 30 minutes afterwards, you are ready to train again. It's interesting on the steroids when burning body fat is so fast and energy level as for brain, it was absolutely amazing. So now I can understand why so many people get addicted to it. Because I would say it's more psychological addiction like physical addiction. Uh, and I tried it for six months. I gained just a little bit size, not so much, but I was super lean and muscles. You can see it on the guys on competition. You know? it's, yeah. it's better quality. Uh, mass like yeah. natural uh, but then after six months i just kind of i had just too much energy and too much and it was just too much so 